Good morning. Welcome to Sunnyside Journals. Welcome to 30 minutes of my day. I have a few things on my desk. Quite a few things. <laughs> I am going to start first with a great, big, huge thank you to Manon. I am overwhelmed, Manon. Um, merci beaucoup. <laughs> this is so amazing. Um, Manon is, uh, is a fellow Canadian and uh, my goodness she is a generous fellow Canadian she sent me a lovely little card here um, <clears throat> and apparently she was destashing and I'm very thank you for destashing in my direction Manel <laughs> I'm very grateful <laughs> I love this beautiful antique postcard that you sent Happy May your birthday be. Look how beautiful that is. That is, that's just lovely. The shades of blues and pinks, so pretty. And now, oh my goodness, look what I have to go through. I, I hope you don't mind, I did get into it. And uh, I am, I didn't get into everything, but I started going through, um, so much wonderful, wonderful things. Oh, you know me and Rick Rack. Rick Rack's my favorite. Oh, look at all these. Oh, so cute. Lovely. Oh, Rick Rack. Aww. Oh, I love them. Cirque du Soleil. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Cirque du Soleil, that is Canadian. We're we got a little bit of talent up here, north of the border, I'd say. Oh, Manon, this is, uh, I'm going to have to go through it piece by piece. And uh, lots and lots of Christmas things. I guess that means I need to, um, we're going to New Jersey. Oh, isn't that, I love when postcards have someone's message still on the back oh look at that isn't that beautiful that looks like oh beautiful beautiful um i love when uh when you can sort of read the message that went oh ariel very good now this is what i wanted to look at because that looks central american and I may find some artwork in here to put into Frida. Um, so let's just take a look and see. Come on, come on plastic. Boy, they seal this up very well. <sighs> Boy, it was my lucky week for happy mail. I am a happy crafter. Let's see if I can get this open. So today's Saturday and um, my little book sale is going on, but I was there last week, so I'm showing great restraint and I'm staying home today. I'll go up next week. I think hubby's working next weekend, so I will, uh, I will hold off and go up then. Oh. Colorful world. Oh, aren't these photos beautiful? Calendars are so much fun to use in, uh, wow, okay, this will definitely get used, look at that, oh, look at how pretty the fabrics are, um, calendars are fun to use in journals, There it is. Okay, you know what? I'm going to find a way to put that into Frida. And I wonder where that is. I wonder if it lists where those locations are. No, it doesn't. Boy, it, that certainly looks Central American to me. When I've been to Mexico and to other Caribbean countries, they love... Uh, bright, beautiful colors. Thank you, Manon. Look at all this scrap paper. 
I'm set. I won't, uh, I'm not going to go through them all on camera, but I can just see just by looking in the sides here. Oh my goodness. They're beautiful. And I'm extremely, extremely appreciative. I am um, very grateful and thank you so very much for taking the time to package this up. It weighs a ton. It's three and a half kilograms. Oh, I'm astounded. So I'm going to put these aside. Oh, that's my, I went to Michael's today. Okay, I'm going to put this aside. still here I'm still here all right so I'm going to try something today Nancy says it's terrific and you know who am I to um, do not take some advice from Miss Wishes and Weeds herself so um, Nancy said that the Sugar Bell uh, icing Icing bottles are terrific for Fabri-Tac. That it's a tinier opening. Let's see. Yeah, that's a pretty big opening. So that you can get a smaller bead of glue. So let's do that first. Like I said, I've got a few things on my desk. It's Saturday morning where I am. We have already been over to two towns over. We had to drop some things off um, at one child's house, so we, we got to do a distance visit, and we got to see three of the grandbabies, which is always a treat. And, uh, and then they live right near a Michael's, so I have to take advantage of that when I can, because there's no Michael's in the town I live in. There's not much of anything in my town. <laughs> not very big. We have a Canadian tire because we're Canadian and I think every town has a Canadian tire. <laughs> um, we've got a little tiny hospital, which is good. And uh, yeah, and we got thrift stores. So you know what? I'm happy. I love our little town. All right, so. You know what? I wonder if I should hold off. Let me see if Nancy's online and see if she, because I'm wondering if I need to fill the bottle or whether I should go halfway. But sometimes if you go halfway, that leaves more surface area. Uh, um, and Fabri-Tac, because it's acetone-based, it evaporates faster than a water-based glue. So, um, you know what? Let's call Miss, uh, Miss Wishes and Weeds herself you there I got my laptop here going and we'll see if she's there and I'll ask her if I need to put in more than wow that was open that foil was not sealed down oh I love the smell of it that's bad oh she's there all right I'm going to ask her uh, let me type in when you filled your sugar bell bottle, did you fill it to the top or just half, halfway? There we go. All right, let's wait and see what I should be doing. <laughs> She's so smart. She'll have the answer for me. If you can hear a rumbling noise, my husband's in the backyard mowing the lawn. So he uh, he's happy. He's in his happy place. He loves puttering around in his yard. Come on, where'd you go? You said you were there. Well, it's been seen. Okay. Come on, Nancy. 
Let's go. You're not taking yet. All right, well, we'll get, we'll get working on something else while we're waiting for Nancy. Here, let me put this lid back on for now. So I got to work a bit more on um, the chocolate mocha book that was an arithmetic book. And I'm really liking how it turned out. It's still grungy looking, but I restored the spine, put a bigger spine in. Two inch spine is on now. This is the fabric that I tinted it a little bit darker. If you recall, it was quite a bit lighter. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna grab some so you can see the change. This was the color and I wanted I wanted this creamy part a little bit more actually mocha-y. <laughs> so, oh, okay, she filled it, yes! Thank you so much. There we go. All right, she filled it. All right, let's fill it. I should have known, go big or go home, right? Let's do it. Certainly this sugar bell bottle would be easier to add more acetone to when, you know, eventually you do get to the point where you have to thin it down again. The evaporation just happens anyways. Now I seem to recall Nancy put a round headed pin in the top, just like the way when we use our, um, our art glitter glue. So I better find, I better find a, um, a pin. All right. Oh, now I'm excited to use this. I have some work to do on Frida today. So, all right. I have this one here. I wonder if that'll do. It feels loose. Let me ask her. If my stick pin to go in the top is loose, will that be okay? All right, let's see. That's, oh, I'm very excited. You know what, I've got to test it. Let me find some paper and see how, how thin this is. Oh, yes, I'm in the center. Hold on. Oh, that is thinner. <gasps> That's nice. I don't know if you can see that. It's a thinner line, a thinner bead of fabric. Yes. Oh, she must be away from her desk. Okay, well, if she answers, I'll let you know. So I, um, I'll use that for now. So I... I put in uh, a curved two inch spine. I reinforced these corners with uh, some of the extra fabric left over from when I um, stiffened the fabric up using Mod Podge. Uh, now I've got to figure out, um, oh, first I want to, um, I want to Mod Podge. Uh, the front and the back cover. So, let's find it. There we go. Oh, I forgot to wash this yesterday. Fortunately, if you're patient and you forget to wash out your Mod Podge things, this is just was a lid to a container. It might have been a lid to a Pringles. Um, if you're just patient, you can peel it out and reuse it. So, uh, paintbrush. There we go. Mod Podge. I need another piece of paper. There we go. So one of our uh, new grandson number 17 is doing lovely. He w went to his checkup last week and he weighed 12 pounds 3 ounces. So that's, uh, that's a lovely size. And he had his first 
shot. Poor little guy. Um, I just want to see if I can get a little more. There's a little bit of pencil. I tried working on it a bit. This is when these can be a little grimy. Now I want to be careful because it looks like Gervais wrote arithmetic here in pencil. And I think that's kind of charming. <laughs> it's cute. Yeah, I think this is about as pretty as it's going to get. And I'm okay with that. Sometimes there's a charm in a really grungy old book. So I'm okay with that. Now, I'm going to just seal this. Hmm. Now I'm thinking, sorry, I'm, I'm second guessing myself. I'm wondering if I should just use aerosol and not bother with Mod Podge sealant. I've already Mod Podged. These, these areas have been Mod Podged, if you recall. You know what? I think I'm just going to do a light two coats. I've changed my mind. And that's a woman's prerogative, right? So I am going to, so I'll do that later. But I want to, I want some fun end papers for chocolate mocha. And I have this book on uh, the artwork of Leonardo da Vinci. And, uh, I don't necessarily want one of his masterpieces or two of his masterpieces inside the covers. I want uh, some of his drawings, his architectural work and his inventions. Like, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? His anatomy, his, he was quite the inventor and quite the architect. The drawings that he has of trying to figure out how to make helicopters and uh, just how to fly. He was thinking of these things back in the 1400s, like just absolutely astounding. Look at the machinery that he was trying to, his brain was trying to figure out how to build a better mousetrap. Just beautiful. So I'm thinking something like this might be fun and interesting to uh, hmm to put in as the end papers I like that one hold on I'm just going to put a post -it note on the ones that I like The skull drawings. I might want to borrow one of those and put it into Frida. Because, of course, the original title of that book was Fractures. There's some architectural plans. It looks like he was trying to... Uh, he was designing a cathedral. So amazing. How mathematical human anatomy is, too. His, uh, there must be a picture in here of the Vitruvian Man. That's so famous. This is cool. Devices for manufacturing concave mirrors. Oh my goodness. How can someone's bring, there is Vitruvian Man. Wow. Again, how mathematical the human body is. Just incredible. Oh, I like that with the leaf. Is there anything on the back? It's one of those situations where you have to decide which page is nicer. And I like this one. It's got um, the birds in flight. And that one's got birds in flight too. Hmm. All right. Hold on.
There's lots of beautiful um, portraits in here, the machines. Cool. There's uh, lots of beautiful portraits in here that are going to be... Oh, there's the church. Leonardo is architect. He was not and did not claim to be an architect, although he furnished and above all made drawings of architectural models. Hmm. What about some pictures of the birds and then a picture of him trying to figure out how man can take flight? That might be interesting for end papers. Oh, some of his anatomy. Oh, sorry. If you, some people get a little queasy over pictures like that. I didn't plan on that. Okay, there's that again with the birds in flight. Hmm. Yes, those shades match better. This is a different shade. Actually, that's the same. Eight and eight. I wonder why they did that. So that's the same. That's on this side. Oh, okay. All right, I want this one. I want you. Yes. And then I want... Oh, you moved, didn't you? There it is. And I want you. All right, now I know. All right, here, I'll just show you some of the, oh, they're gonna be beautiful for using on the fronts of journals. Um, some of his portraits are are just going to be, oh, look how pretty. Mona Lisa. Isn't she lovely? Oh my goodness, the stare. Beautiful. Oh, look. Holding an ermine. The Lady of the Ermine. Wow. Oh, I love these. I'm so looking forward to making journals. Look at all the babies coming out, of, hatching out of the swan eggs. I, I can't wait to make journals and put those on the covers. So pretty. Love it. Now, that is uh, John the Baptist. I thought it was a lady. Um, but that's, uh, apparently that's John the Baptist. Interesting. Uh, St. Anne. Interesting. Oh, Mary and St. Anne and the baby. Love it. Okay, I want to... Um, won't bore you any further with that. Are these? Oh, they are. Wow, this is a paperback with sewn in signatures. Well, I'll be. Now, I think I'm still going to cut it out anyways, because I don't ever see myself using a full spread. So I think I'm just going to carefully set loose. There we go. It's almost lunchtime. I promised Hubby that I would make him a nice big sandwich. Kind of sandwich with everything on it. Now here's where you gotta choose because one's gotta go and I love that leaf there but I really love these birds in flight and they go with the birds in flight there and I think I think those will make really, really cool M pages. All right, let's just take you out. So I will sacrifice that beautiful little leaf. There we go. All right. I'm already enjoying um, the setup of my cockpit. It, um, I'm able to do my 
twirling of my chair and really um, quite successfully grab what I need. Now, for now, I'm going to simply take off the white and then I'll decide, because obviously these papers are too big for how big my little book is. So I'm going to have to trim it down. But I'm not sure where I want to trim yet and I'll have a better picture in my mind's eye of what I like by removing the white. Let's do this one. Don't worry, I'll use those post-it notes again. I'm just going to get as close as I can. Obviously that page is showing its age and it's not a it's not a uh, straight line. So I'm just going to get close so that I can make my decision later. Now the white isn't um, distracting me. Oh, I love these. So, I think I'll be able to, I'm going to ink around the edges. I think I'm going to be able to do that. And then again here, I'm going to have to decide And I think we will be going with something like that. Okay, insides. I think that'll look really cool. I like it. Little Leonardo in a junk journal. Now, how am I for time? Oh, I've got two minutes. All righty. I'm going to, um, actually, I'm going to pause. Uh, not pause, but I'm going to end here because I have to go and uh, make lunch for the hardworking man who um, mowed the lawn, and now it looks nice back there. I hope you're all having a great day, and I hope you're safe. I especially hope my friends um, in those areas that are being hit with horrific forest fires, I hope you're safe. <sighs> what a terrible time. Well, you, it, it's like the universe is just seeing how strong we can be so we've got to show that we are, I guess. Um, yeah. All right. Take care. And we will talk soon. Bye.